Hey Leather folks, Alicia here. Today we are doing a six minute strength routine to get you ready to go out hiking. We're gonna focus on hips and feet today and you may find that this helps your knees feel amazing after your next day out on the trails. And as always, I want you to choose the variation of the exercise that you can do confidently. All right, let's get into it without further ado. We're gonna get you out of here in six minutes or less. To begin today, I want you to follow along as we start off with clock squats. What we're gonna do is balance on one foot, keep those hips even. You're gonna reach out in front of you, and then you're going to touch all the numbers of the clock, if you will, to come out to the side, over, back behind you, and then back and across. You wanna stand up fully in between each touch, and we are not gonna do from here to the front. You'll just go right back to the front and start again at noon, if you will. As you're doing this, I want you to pay attention. Your foot might be moving around a little bit and we want that. We want those muscles to help us maintain our balance. Your hip might be burning uh, and we want those muscles in the hips to be working to keep us stable. If this is too easy for you, you can come up onto your tip toes. That's gonna get more of your medial quad involved with the movement. And your calf as well. One more touch. And we're gonna switch on over to our second side. We'll do 45 seconds on our second side. Again, if this is too easy, Feel free to come up onto the balls of your feet. Put more tension through your calf and VMO, which is just one of your quad muscles. Or if this is challenging enough for you from a balance and strength point of view, then just keep on keeping on. We want to touch down lightly, but I don't want you to put any weight on that foot as it comes to the ground. We want to let the standing leg do the work here like it does when we're out hiking. Good, and we'll shake it out. We're gonna go into our second exercise. So I'm gonna get you again to balance on one leg. We're gonna hinge at the knee here, and then we're just gonna drop those hips below level and then bring them up just to level. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Now, a lot of times when I introduce this exercise, the first thing people do is they drop down a little bit and then they hike up really high. We don't want that. We just wanna come from level down and then back up, super small movement. And for the next 30 seconds, we're now gonna do external rotation. So I want you to take your leg, hold it almost level, and then rotate that femur out to the side and then back to the front. So it's actually my femur, this big thigh leg, <laughs> thigh bone, that's rotating in my hip socket to make this happen. And I should feel the glutes, the back of your leg, your butt, active to make this movement happen. You might also feel again, those muscles of the feet being active to keep your balance here. If balance is something you're really struggling with, you could totally do this with a hand on a wall or a chair. Good, let's go on to our second side, starting with those hip dips. So start with hips level, and we are going to dip and then come back up to level for 30 seconds here. Picking a spot can help you keep your balance as well. But remember, struggling with your balance isn't a bad thing. Uh, as we practice, we're gonna get way better at this. And let's go into that second version. Now, if it's difficult for you to try and keep your hips level and keep that foot off the ground, you could totally do this on a raised surface, like a step or a stair, as long as you feel comfortable. And then you can focus on fully rotating this leg out without moving it laterally at all. Good. 
good stuff and shake it out. For the last two today, we are switching the focus to those feet that have already been working, but we're gonna focus on working them specifically. So you can come off with shoes and socks, and I'm probably gonna do a zoomed in version of this for you guys so you can see what's happening. But what we're gonna do to start off with is some foot shortening exercises. So you're kind of squeezing your arches and then letting them relax. And you wanna do that without pressing your big toes into the ground or crunching your toes or extending them. We really want this to be a shortening that happens from those intrinsic foot muscles. And again, if you're trying this and it doesn't look like anything's moving, that's okay. It just means we need to practice this a little bit more. Our body's gonna learn how to do it and we're gonna benefit from having stronger feet. Now we are going to be pressing our big toes down, lifting our little toes up and then switching. So pressing all of our toes down except for our big toes that we lift up. And we're gonna go back and forth on this. Again, at first, this might not work for you. You might find that all your toes wanna to go the same direction just because you haven't tried this before and that's okay. This is a fun one to actually practice in your shoes if you have a minute of downtime. Um, it's a good way to fidget when you're, I don't know, waiting in the line at the grocery store. And now if this is really tough for you, you can start by doing it while seated. And that's why we have our seat here. And then as you get more proficient at it, you can try it while standing. And if you really want to up the ante, you can try it while standing on one foot. That is super hard. Good. We're going to go back to our arch shortening, so lifting those arches up. This one we can also do from a seated position. I want you to pay attention as you're trying to lift those arches, you should feel your pelvic floor activate here, but let's not roll onto the outsides of our feet. We don't want our toes to come off the ground here. This is purely an action between the ball of your foot and your heel, and they're trying to get closer together as your arches lift and become bigger. Good, shake it out. And that is it for today. You could repeat this every second day and I think it will help you on the trails. Have a wilder week and we'll talk to you guys soon.